Welcome back, fans and friends. For this upcoming video, we have another Matchbox. We have the Moving Parts series. And obviously, this one is their competition to the what used to be the Super Fast. They're very similar. So with this one, it is the hood that opens, the Moving Part, not Parts. And you have the Mattel there, the 3 plus 14 out of 50. So I saw a couple of them, the Ford Mustang and the others. But I think I would rather have the door open, sorry, the hood open than the doors. And so as we can see here, Everything seems to be printed very clearly on the vehicle in terms of name. So you see Celeste over there and Celeste on the back there. And it happens to be very well done if it's a little bit basic. But I mean, this is about the 4397, I think, in the text, 480. But anyway, uh, 1975 Mitsubishi Lancer Celeste. And production put under license from Mitsubishi Motors Corporation. There you have their licensing because they don't put any other vehicle on there. They don't have to have anybody else's 2022. So R21A, I noticed, is different. It says R19 under there. So I don't know what that's about, if it's the release date or this and that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I, do, I am a fan of the Lancer, but this does not look like anything like the modern Lancers. But, you know. So inside the package, when you pop it out, you do get the uh, separate insert. So exact, similar, not exactly, but how the green lights would sell it to you. And this isn't direct competition. As we all know, the green lights, they will have the hood and not the doors. Uh, as for this two-piece part, that's fairly unique from Matchbox. It uh, would belie that it would be a much greater expense because these a lot of the mini gts come in this type of insert to protect it from damage anyway we'll just get right to the car so as you everybody can see right into the cabin the windows no tinting no glare well glare but it's very easy to see left hand drive again so uh the mitsubishi usually what they would do is they would license production or selling uh rebadging so i know this was also known as the arrow uh in north america anyway Hood opens, it doesn't, it opens very wide, it doesn't stay very wide. That's not a serious issue. Uh, we can see the rearview mirrors, etched in wipers, no defroster, not a huge issue. And we're, from what I was reading, this is the slightly later version of the Celeste. As you can see, the earlier version had two uh, uh, slats instead of the three slats. So this is the later, obviously 1975. Gas cap on the left side, the only difference between the right and the left. And everybody can clearly see the Celeste written on the side there. It is nice and clear on both sides. Hubcaps, as usual, Mattel's rarely have issues with the wheels because they are uh, very basic two-piece plastic or one-piece plastic. You have the stripe there. Uh, the front grill looks reasonably well done. The lights, they're just painted on, but they're painted on almost evenly, so you would not know they were not inserts from a distance. You have a nice grill, evenly painted there. The engine... I do like it how they do do put some amount of work into it to add all the different colors to differentiate all the little parts. An engine is extremely complicated. And they have painted both of those support bars the same, which is nice because green light likes to I miss that. So oh always nice to see that they're you know they're stepping it up a little bit. The white uh rearview mirrors are on the front. So if anybody's watched the 430Z432 or the 260Z, not 260Z doesn't have it, but my M2 video, you can clearly see the review mirrors for these earlier vehicles are on the front, on the side of the hood, rather than uh, right, mo most modern day cars will have them here. So there we have it, just the back of it. Uh, you can see the keyhole, I believe for what is the, it's not the usual Mitsubishi uh, insignia there, but you see all the lights and everything is painted on and nice and evenly. The Celeste on the bottom there, nice and readable. On to the really shiny and highly reflective silvery underside. And we can barely see the Mitsubishi Lancer Celeste, but it's there, 1975. And you have the Mattel Netherlands stuff there. The pins, this is from the front, and this is from the top, and that's from the bottom, the stamping. And nice and basic transmission and the exhaust right there and so there we have it the Mitsubishi Lancer Celeste 1975 from Matchbox so basically Mattel as all of these look how easily how nicely it rolls so if, if this is probably not ideal for a toy because uh, the moving parts this I don't know how easily this breaks but
I do like it. Like I said, I prefer an opening hood to an opening door. So with that wrap up, thank you for watching, fans and friends. And this is Thomas from Toronto. And till the next one.